gentlemen, welcome back to Executive Outcomes Channel. My name is the Talking Net Gator, and today we're talking about the Styrog. Gentlemen, <laughs> weapon is on. Safe. Welcome back to the Hickok 45 Gunthought Grand Pinky channel. I don't know what the that was. All right. <laughs> Off to a good start. Today we are talking about the AUG, the AUG Styre. And we could probably like roll some like old like uh <laughs> like you know that footage you watched when you were a kid and they had like the history channel? Styre AUG. It's like the AUG Styre, but I uh by Styre Arms. Type semi or fully automatic bull pup assault rifle. And it's like, oh cool, yeah, it looks like a space gun. Alright, well, today we have a space gun here on loan from my cameraman. Shout out to him, RBM RBMT Media. I forgot how to spell for a second. Thank you, sir, for letting me uh borrow your AUG for this video. Uh Go check him out, I'll link his page on Instagram down below. But what we have here is the Styre AUG. All right, now this is one of those guns that guys either, I feel like they either love or hate. I feel like dudes are like, oh, I have to have an AUG. Or dudes are like, get that space trash out of here. So essentially what this is, yet again, not an expert by any means, just some dude having fun with a little bit of guns. Give you a quick little opinions and observations with the uh, AUG Styre here. So let's dive into it. <laughs> We're gonna go from, I can't do I can't take myself seriously. We're gonna go from tip to butt. Alright, no, I'm just kidding. That's a Grantham thing. I feel like you gotta trademark that. I feel like he's patented that so where you can't like go tip to butt. <laughs> Dude, I can't. This channel, it's it's ridiculous. Alright, so my like I'm no AUG expert by any means. I have like very limited time behind it. So take everything I say with a literal grain of salt. And I would recommend you just like back out and go watch actual experts right now. But if you stick with this, then uh, I don't know, shame on you or something. So, Mr. RBMT Media over there, he uh, set his gun up how he wanted to. He did a nice little rattle can job, a little OD green. He's a big, he's a big Ranger green guy, big OD green kind of guy. And I dig it. That's why we're friends, I think. Uh, that and I like to get uh, sake bombers going at sushi places and get kicked out for being rowdy. Um, he's run the one to eight Vortex Strike Eagle. Uh, I like the Strike Eagles. I think they're kind of fun. They're not the best LPVL on the market by any means. There's much better stuff out there. I've actually ran a Strike Eagle quite a bit now. Uh, it's a one to six that I ran. I think the one to eight's nice too. Uh, the, the problem is on the lower end LPVOs is that shadow box and, and line it up. And it, I mean, it's just that variable of when you're running and gun with it and you kind of get what you pay for. The higher end LPVOs are going to be much nicer, of course. And then the, the second focal plane reticle, as well as the first focal plane reticle, that kind of comes into play. And I'm getting off on a tangent. Let's get back to the AUG. One thing I don't like that on uh, Mr. Mr. Media over there, camera guy, I don't like you didn't have a weapon light on here. I don't know, maybe you just moved it somewhere, but I believe every weapon needs to have a weapon light first and foremost before the optic. Irons and then weapon light. I mean, I'm not gonna ding him too much. It is what it is. It showed up today. Oh, okay. Well, it showed up today, so my bad. And then he threw on his AAC can on there, and then uh, it's a nice little setup. Pretty cool. So what are my opinions on the AUG? I think the AUG is a fun little bullpup. I mean, we're of this, if you're about my age, we're of the generation of guys who grew up playing a metric ton of Call of Duty and that influenced you in firearms culture and getting into firearms culture of the progression 
Okay, so, I mean, I feel like the AUG has probably been like every Call of Duty ever. It's just one of those guns that Hollywood loves. You think of Die Hard. Uh, I always think of like the old history channels. Rate of fire, 650 rounds per minute. So when they run the specials on weapons of countries, you know what I mean? It's like the, the AUG out of Austria. I always think of the Australians too. And forgive the background noise, of course. Yet again, we have a lot of other shooters out there in the distance and they're actually putting in real work while we're making the YouTube video. So, let's talk about the gun real quick. So this stock is actually from Austria. I almost said Australia. You almost got me. This, this stock is actually from Austria and the receiver group and the barrels from America. Okay. A3 receiver up here and then the A1 stock. Nice little setup. I think it's pretty fun. A, a very scalable weapon. It's like you, you, you can plug out a few things and you can start messing around with it. This version is a, of course, as you see uh, from the always fun, sexy range time video, a full auto. Okay. Now, it does come with the option to set it up in three-round burst, but uh, unfortunately, Mr. Camera Guy behind there, he broke it. Uh, right, you broke it? It wasn't me. Usually, usually well, I say this because usually I break the, his stuff. I'll give it a second. All right, one cool thing about this weapon system is the quick swap barrel system. So, I, I said system twice, now three times. So, currently, this is a 16-inch barrel. Now, if you want to scale it, make it a little bit shorter, make it a little bit longer, all you got to do is lock the bolt back to the rear, make sure it's secure so it doesn't slam forward when you want to start swapping. Otherwise, you're going to have a bad news bear's time. Push that button down over here, and then you just pull one out. Now, here's your 16-inch barrel out of the weapon, and all you have is a stock, nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. Um, go ahead and toss the barrel back in there. Okay, there you go. Bob's your uncle. Steyr AUG is a snap to use. I do like Mr. Cameraman's setup with the LPVO in this platform with the 16 inch barrel because the overall signature of the rifle is still very compact and you still get that 16 inch barrel with the, with the advantage of that 16 inch ballistics. You know, 5.56 does start to suffer when you start dipping down in barrel lengths. Of course, uh, that does make it pretty fun for running a magnified optic. Of course, now your rail space is limited if you want to start running an IR laser of some kind, you're gonna have to get creative. Uh, of course, you have this rail panel over here you know, I throw a weapon light on there, but yet again, space is kind of limited. I don't, I, I do see uh, floating around the interwebs, the guys will get the, the rail space down here. I personally don't like that look, and I know that sounds dumb because functionality overlooks, right? But let's be real, guys. Looking cool is 90% of why you got into firearms. I'm wearing a plate here while I talk about a gun right now, and I have zero threats around me. Um, real quick, let's talk about the trigger and why I hate it. So this trigger mechanism is uh, it's very simple, but it's also very dumb. Uh, I think we don't realize how spoiled we are with AR safeties and AR triggers. Just the market that they are. They are very nice compared to a lot of other guns. The AUG, for example. So all the way over to the right is safe. In the middle of semi, semi, what the f In the middle of semi, all the way to the left is full auto or what was supposed to be three round burst and door. So funny enough, it's also semi on all the way over to the left. If you do a squeeze, you have your semi automatic. Now, if you squeeze harder, like my ex-girlfriend, it goes fully automatic. <laughs> oh, that's a joke in case my wife watches this episode. We're gonna, we're gonna try the trigger squeeze out. Grant thumb, this one goes out to you. It's not great, but it's not terrible. It's definitely my like not my favorite trigger squeeze I've ever done, but it's doable. It's actually like it's like okay, you find it, you find it. So of course, it just comes down to weapon familiarization and knowing where that break is. Let's try the reset. Right, we're gonna hold it. Reset. A lot of play. Very squishy. It just doesn't feel right. I'm not a fan of the safety and the trigger. As forward thinking as this weapon was back in the day, they should have come up with something a little bit better, but I understand that bullpups and their trigger packs are weird. It's just how it goes. Um, this weapon, in my opinion, will be great for fighting off the uh, aliens this year whenever they get announced. It's going to be good for that. It's going to fit the sci-fi vibes really well, as well as fighting off Skynet and other sci-fi threats we'll have in 2021. Hopefully none of that happens, but if they do, the AUG will be a good weapon for you in that sense. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, uh, like, subscribe, dislike it, all that YouTube jargon. Leave a comment down below. It's a sacrifice to the algorithm gods, and I appreciate your sacrifice. Thanks, hero. Um, 
if you want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, I'm going to be start pushing my Patreon much more. I'll have a link for my Patreon down in the description below. Uh, shirts, I may, uh, I may have to ice shirts for a little bit. You guys have been very supportive in getting a ton of shirt orders from me. So I still am a one-man operation with the shirts. So it's sucking up a lot of time from actually making YouTube videos. This has been a word salad, so I'm going to end the video right now. Thanks for watching. Oh, God. Oh, no, my hog. Give it a second.